What am I gonna do this weekend? Huh. Huh. That's it, the frozen butt hang. Yes, yes, we got a pack. We got a pack. Brock, I got a pack for the frozen butt hang. I guess she's not home. Well, I got a pack anyway. Got to get all the essentials. Big backpack, big back, this is a big backpack. Does this work? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm just kidding around. <laughs> but um, this is a great opportunity, me going on a camping trip to show everybody what my mindset is when I'm packing up my equipment to go out onto a camp. Plus you get to see some of the cool gear that I'm gonna carry on this trip. Now I don't have a super scientific approach of how I actually go about doing this, but as a general rule, I always start with my sleep equipment. Sleep equipment takes up the majority of room and it's the biggest and bulkiest thing that we're gonna carry out into the woods. Now in my case, for this trip, it is a hammock hang, so I'm gonna need hammock equipment. So let me first grab my hammock. All right, got my Dutchware Chameleon hammock. That's what I'm gonna be using for this trip. I'll go into the specifics on how I have this set up in another video. Now to go along with this, I'm gonna need some type of tarp in case it rains or precipitates. In our case, it might even snow because it's gonna be below 30 degrees. So let me grab that. All right, got my tarp. So this is the coal cracker tarp, again, from Dutchware. We have these on our website right now, links below. I think I should be able to at least put one plug in the video. These are very good tarps, 10 by 10, pretty, pretty sweet. Base kit is together. Now I need to think about being warm. Luckily for me, I have a new underquilt and overquilt from Hammock Gear, so I'm gonna pack that up. Under quilt pack, now gotta get the over quilt in a bag. So see what I'm saying? This takes up the majority of room. It's not that it's heavy, it just takes up a lot of room. So now I'm gonna match my backpack to this. So I'm gonna try to fit everything into my Fall Raven pack. I think that it will uh, fit in here. It's gonna be a little bit of tight squeeze, but I'm not too worried about having to carry a lot of other equipment along with me. Just the bare essentials, something to start a fire, maybe my ax, and I think I'll be pretty good with that. So let's see if we can fit this in. Now on the floor to make it a little bit easier. So what I'm thinking when I pack my bag itself is, what am I probably gonna use last in my shelter setup? And that's gonna be my overquilt, which is right here. So I'm gonna just jam that down into this bag, turn it sideways, and it's fitting well. Then my underquilt, jam that down in there. And then of course my hammock and my tarp. And that still gives me a little bit of room. Enough room for a nice cozy pair of socks, which are right here. Stick them right on the top. And then lastly, in my main compartment, I think I'm gonna put my Outdoor Vitals coat. So this thing's super warm. It's gonna give me an extra layer just in case I need it. And for the size of it, it packs down really nice and small, just like that. So it's very simple. I can squeeze that in here. And then with all of that in there, if I compress this down just a little bit more, I still have some extra space. Now with all that sleeping gear packed up, we're gonna move on to the nitty gritty, the survival, the bushcraft, all that good stuff. The stuff I love all so much. A knife, an ax, you gotta have those things. Next is the haversack. It is like one of the most important items other than your knife. Inside the haversack, ditty bag. The ditty bag contains ferrocerium rod, fatwood, 
extra lighter, sharpening stone, an awl, and a sewing kit. Also in the haversack, some cordage, and a pair of pliers, super useful for around camp. Now in all honesty, look at a haversack as part of you. This should go everywhere with you during the day. You don't wanna carry your backpack around, carry the haversack. Keep the equipment you need to keep yourself safe in case of an emergency inside of here and you'll be good to go. Next is water and food. So how am I gonna deal with that? Cup, water bottle. Medium sized water bottle because there's a water source close by. I mean, who doesn't love equipment that's not even on the market yet? This is the new Yukoware mess kit. Let's see, I could fit lots of stuff in here. Best part of it, the spoon has my name on it. So we have our backpack all packed up now. We wanna think, do we have all the bases covered? We have a nice shelter, we have something to keep us warm, we have a way to make fire, we have tools that are gonna help us along, we have a way to purify and boil water and eat some of that good food that our friends are gonna make. So what else do we need? Should we put some luxury items in here? Well first, before we're gonna do that, think about some redundancy. So I'm gonna pack an extra ferrocerium rod, a Titan light lighter by Exotac, a rip spool by ExoTac, a flashlight, and a bottle opener, just in case anybody brings any beer. But before I finish packing this up, we also need to think about, is there anything that we miss? Is there any luxury items that we really, really want? And for me, absolutely. I definitely want a headlamp. A headlamp is just the best thing in the middle of the night when you need to navigate in the woods. So for me, it's my Yuko headlamp. And then finally, extreme comfort. Is there anything that's just gonna put it over the top? Something that is worthwhile to carry? Well, I got this inflatable pillow from Outdoor Vitals. I love it, I'm taking it. It's small, lightweight. I mean, I could fit it in my pocket if I need to. I mean, can a guy get a two minute break around here? That would be nice, right? All this gear packing. Can we just relax a little bit? And there you go, my load out for my next hammock camping trip. So between a haversack and the backpack, we have all the bases covered. We have our survival equipment, we have our fire starters, we have extra fire starters. We have my knife, we have my ax, and then we have a good sleep system. And then on top of that, I have a way to purify water, hold water, and actually eat some food in comfort. So I have all that stuff built into this kit, which is very reasonably sized, very reasonable in weight, and it's not going to take up much room. So you don't need a lot to go and have a good time with friends. Simple loadout like this will get the job done. So this was Dan Wolak of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. I got to get back to just sitting down and relaxing. This was a lot of work. Fun work, but a lot of work. So until the next video, I hope you check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And as I always like to say, stay in the woods.